Hey there, bear enthusiasts. Ever wondered what would happen if a giant white polar bear and a robust Eurasian brown bear became BFFs, or more precisely, mates? Buckle up because today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Ursid, bear hybrids, specifically the offspring of these two incredible species. Necessities. Brown versus Polar. Deep Dive. Before we get to the hybrid cuteness, or maybe not so cuteness, let's understand the distinct lifestyles of our parent, bears in excruciating detail. Polar bears, the undisputed kings of the Arctic, are built for icy adventures like no other creature on Earth. Their thick white fur, almost eight times denser than human hair, acts like a built-in winter coat keeping them warm in temperatures that could freeze you solid. Powerful paws and long, curved claws help them stock seals on the frozen ocean, their main source of food. They're excellent swimmers, using their strong legs like paddles to navigate icy waters with incredible grace. Did you know? Polar bears are the largest land predators on the planet, with males reaching a hopping 1,500 pounds. Eurasian brown bears, on the other hand, are nature's adaptable giants. They roam vast forests and mountains, their habitat diversity offering a smorgasbord of delicious treats. Their fur color varies from brown to black, offering camouflage in their diverse habitats, from lush green forests to snow-capped mountains. They're skilled climbers, using their powerful claws to scale trees in search of berries and nuts with remarkable agility. When near rivers and streams, they become expert fishers, snatching salmon leaping upstream with impressive reflexes. Unlike their Arctic cousins, Eurasian brown bears are omnivores, feasting on a wide variety of plants, fish, and even small mammals. Despite their differences in environment and diet, both polar bears and Eurasian brown bears are solitary creatures. They only come together to mate, making encounters between these two giants quite rare. But with climate change altering their habitats and melting the Arctic sea ice, these encounters are becoming more frequent, leading to a fascinating phenomenon. Hybrid possibility, Grohler bears, unveiling the mystery. With melting sea ice due to climate change, polar bears are venturing further south, increasing the chances of encountering brown bears in unexpected territories. This has led to a rare phenomenon, the birth of hybrid cubs, also known as Grohler bears. Grohler bears inherit a unique blend of traits from both parents. Their fur can be a mix of white, brown, or even a creamy yellow, depending on the dominant genes from each parent. They might be larger than brown bears, but smaller than polar bears, creating a fascinating in-between size. Here's a fun fact. The first documented Grohler bear was shot by a hunter in the Northwest Territories of Canada in 1984. Since then, there have been a few confirmed sightings in the wild, with more potential cases being studied. Life cycle of a Grohler bear following the journey. So, what's life like for a Grohler bear cub? Just like their parents, they're born blind and helpless. Mom, a devoted and protective figure, provides milk and teaches survival skills for several years until they're strong enough to venture out on their own. 
The first few years are crucial for a growler bear cub. Mom teaches the cub hunting techniques based on their environment. If they're closer to the Arctic, the cub might learn to stalk seals on the ice, using a combination of their polar bear parents' hunting instincts and their brown bear parents' agility on land. In a forest setting, the focus might be on catching fish or foraging for berries, utilizing the brown bear parents' knowledge of these food sources. However, a growler bear's mixed heritage can present challenges. The thick white fur, ideal for the Arctic, might not provide sufficient camouflage in a forest. Additionally, the brown bear's diet might not be enough to sustain a larger growler bear, forcing them to adapt their hunting techniques. As growler bear cubs grow, they become solitary, just like their parents. Males reach maturity around four to five years old, while females take a bit longer at six to seven years. Interestingly, unlike polar bears where only pregnant females hibernate, both male and female growler bears might hibernate depending on their environment and food availability. Final thoughts. A glimpse into the future. The rise of growler bears is a reminder of the significant impact climate change has on wildlife. As environments change and habitats shrink, we might see more interspecies breeding events. While growler bears are fascinating creatures, it's important to remember that these hybrids are a consequence, not a desirable outcome. To understand the implications of growler bears further, let's hear from Dr. Anya Petrova, a leading expert on bear conservation. on the potential challenges growler bears might face due to their hybrid nature. Dr. Petrova, absolutely. As you mentioned, their fur might not be optimally suited for their environment. Additionally, their dietary needs could be complex, requiring them to adapt hunting techniques that might not be instinctive. Furthermore, the long-term viability of growler bear populations is still unknown. They might face fertility issues or struggle to compete with purebred polar bears and brown bears. Thank you. The future of growler bears remains uncertain. Continued research is needed to understand their adaptability and potential impact on existing ecosystems. One thing is clear. Climate change is a major threat to all bear species. Protecting their habitats and addressing climate change are crucial steps to ensure the survival of these magnificent creatures, purebird and hybrid alike. Call to action and outro. Growler bears are a fascinating window into the impact climate change has on wildlife. But the real story lies in protecting the incredible diversity of bears on our planet. Let's all do our part to support organizations working towards bear conservation and fight climate change. Together, we can ensure a future where these majestic creatures continue to roam free. If you enjoy this exploration of the Ursine world, leave a comment below and let us know what other animal hybrids pique your curiosity. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures into the animal kingdom.